Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your Broken Heart Tarot reading. If you find this message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome here. I offer monthly, weekly, and weekend guidance messages on a consistent basis, and then I fill in the space with these type of readings. Um, it also has a timeless intention, just to throw that in there. So, um, let's get started. The overall energy was the Page of Pentacles. Um, I feel like there is going to be some news that comes in about money. I definitely feel like money and status is what's causing the heartbreak was the energy that I'm picking up. So... The first card is, what is your part in the problem or the situation? I feel like you are wanting to be victorious. You are wanting to have a lot of things your way. Um, I feel like you are very set in how you want things to be done. And it's going to be that way or you're ready to make a quick decision to move forward. Um, for your partner, their part is pretty much the same, similar energy. Um, they want success. They want to be victorious. They want it their way or the highway. Um... They also could potentially feel like they have all the good ideas um, as well. Just throwing that in there. The next card is what you can do, Gemini. Um, and I feel like this is where the pentacles comes in. It's a focus on your career, focus on your finance, focus on creating the abundant life that you want. So no matter who your partner is, you have this abundance. I feel like you are working towards this already, and I feel like that's why you're kind of in the position that you're in, is you know where you're headed, you know you've already um, made a decision on what path you're taking, and you've already headed down that path. For your partner... This card is the Wish Fulfillment card. But in this context, I feel like your partner needs to focus on he healing themselves emotionally. Um, I feel like they could be overindulgent, um, drinking too much, maybe overindulging in other things. But this is definitely something that they have to work on, that they're going to have to let go of, whether it's gambling, um, shopping, um, there's definitely a sense of overindulgence here. The last three cards is other influences. Can this be saved? And is it worth it? We have three of swords, hierophant, knight of wands. So other influences. I feel like with the Three of Swords coming up in this position, you're still healing and your your partner as well is still healing from heartache, um, sadness from the past, betrayal. And I feel like with the Hierophant coming out in the can this be saved? There's a lesson that needs to be learned between you guys that's bringing both of you closer to your soul's purpose. Um, it's processing this healing. It's processing this broken heart. Um, I do get the sense that there is a very passionate connection here. So it is very likely that it can be saved. But there is this immense need for healing. Um, 
And I feel like to the point, Gemini, where you've come to a point where you're numb. You may be numb emotionally because of all of the things that have happened. And it's kind of this person, if you will, even if you guys aren't, this isn't your forever partner, there's still a significant lesson that's to be learned within this relationship. So don't be afraid to be open, okay? Don't be afraid to be open to the possibilities, to the opportunities that may arise, okay? Don't always be so set in your ways. Try to be a little bit more flexible. It's it's interesting that the there is this kind of set in your ways, Um I do definitely get the sense that it has to do with this heartache. You've been through so much in the past, Gemini, that you are not trying to go through that again. But understand that you don't have to have your guard up. Now that you've gone through scenarios where you've learned what those red flags are, it's going to be easier for you to see those red flags moving forward understand this okay you don't have to be so closed off and so hard but in order for these walls to come down you need a person to help take them down brick by brick and let the light in like oh maybe people aren't so bad after all maybe guys or girls whichever resonates for your situation, but maybe they aren't so bad, right? Maybe I can trust. The Manifest Your Soulmate card that came out was, take a leap of faith into the unknown. So let's pull a couple... <coughs> Guidance cards for you, Gemini. <laughs> wow. Relationship harmony flew right out. The angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved. This sense of heartache, this sense of sadness that I'm feeling, it's being resolved right now through this relationship. Take a review, take an inventory of your life, resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion to see the underlying order. I get the sense that this person is bringing balance, is bringing trust, is bringing reassurance back into your life, into your relationship sector. So don't be so closed off. Try to be a little bit more open to the possibilities, Gemini. Okay? I know being hurt sucks and we want to try to avoid going through those things. But like I said before... When we go through a certain scenario with a person where we've ignored a red flag or overlooked a boundary, and then we go through some drama or some heartache, we now know that that's going to be the outcome of overlooking that behavior pattern or overstepping that boundary. Then when those scenarios are presented to us in the future, we're able to look at it more practically. Like, okay, we've been here before. We've done this. We're not doing that again. So you don't have to be like, I'm, I'm healing from my relationships. I can't be in one. Like, you know, say that. Like, I'm still healing from relationships, but I'm open to exploring the possibilities. So that is your message, Gemini. Try to be more open. Um, everything is happening for a reason. 
take a leap. Look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.